Namaste everyone. Here I am solving valuation of shares unit 15 marks question. So based on my, sorry net assets method and yield method. Okay, the question is the following is the balance sheet of Raj and Company Limited as on 30 plus 3 2014. So particulars, note number, amount, equity and liabilities, shareholders fund, share capital, note 1, 5 lakh. Reserves and surplus note to 3 lakh. Non current liability second one in that long term borrowings 12% debentures 1 lakh 50,000. Current liabilities 50,000. So total equity and liabilities 10 lakh rupees. Then Roman to assets non current assets tangible fixed assets in that fixed assets 7 lakh rupees. Intangible fixed assets, so that is goodwill 50,000 and current assets 2 lakh 50,000. So total assets 10 lakh rupees. Then notes to balance sheet note 1 share capital 50,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each fully paid. So no partly paid up shares and no preference shares rupees 5 lakh. Then reserves and surplus includes general reserve 2 lakh rupees and surplus profit and loss account 1 lakh. So, uh, total reserves and surplus 3 lakh rupees. Then, other information on the above data the goodwill was independently valued at rupees 60,000 and intangible fixed assets, sorry, tangible fixed assets 5 lakh 80,000. Then, the net profits for the past 3 years were 11, 12, 1 lakh 20,000. 12, 13, 1 lakh 10,000 and 13 and 14, 1 lakh 30,000 of which 20% is to be placed to general reserve. The proportion being considered reasonable in the business in which the company is engaged and where a reasonable return on investment may be taken at 16%. So calculate the value of the equity shares of the company under net asset method and yield value method. Okay. So, this is problem 15 marks. So, you mainly stepwise method wise information and consider. Okay. For example, net asset method and consider information back on net assets and outside liabilities. Okay. So, now we have to information. So, for example, net assets and consider market value and consider. So, this market value and consider the information. Okay. Then, outside liabilities. Short term, long term, quarter thare. Ada nantra. So second yield method calculation chali profit be kaagi rote hamge profit information. So yau method ada arthme ogonna calculate maar be ko simple average ho to weighted average ho. And third amal yes percent reserve banana transfer maar be ko. Atwa preference dividend information koti daro ilo anvan tha information sunna consider maar kundo. New question sunna artha maar kundo. Easy agi new question ana solve maar kundo. Okay? Shall we see the solution? Okay, here, let's begin. Solution. So I am solving first method that is net assets method. Net assets method. Okay. So in the for the calculation of net asset methods, the formula is value of a share equal to net assets available to equity shareholders equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares divided by number of equity shares okay then here we calculate net assets available to equity shareholders okay here i leave some space and I write here calculation of net assets available to equity shareholders. Okay, in that uh, you can uh, put the formula like particulars and rupees. I am writing here directly. So, total assets. Okay, make the list of total assets and you you consider the market values, okay, not book value. If the market value is not available, then only you have to consider book value, okay. First, I will um, write here the intangible asset that is goodwill. So, it has its market value. So, you can 
pause the video and you can write the question once okay if you write the question then you can easily identify the items okay i will show also so goodwill market value is 60000 and next item is fixed asset 580000 i am writing here as fixed assets 580000 okay after this what is the next asset item that is current assets so current asset has not uh, do not have sorry does not have market value that is why i am taking book value that is 2,50,000 okay make the total of this that is 8,90,000 okay this is total assets then less outside liabilities or you can also write external liabilities okay outside liabilities so the items are they have given 12 percent debentures 12 percent debentures so the amount is 1 lakh 50 thousand okay this is long term uh, liability and short term liability includes current liabilities okay current liabilities the amount is 50 thousand okay so the total is 2 lakh rupees and if we deduct this one and here we get 6 lakh 90 thousand that is net asset available to equity shareholders okay then by using this value we calculate value of a share under net asset method so 6 lakh 90 thousand divided by number of equity shares so you see in the note one 50,000 equity shares of rupee 10 each so right here 50,000 then here we get the equity value per share is 6 lakh 90,000 divided by 50,000 that is rupee 13.880 rupees 13.80 per equity share okay this is first method then second method that is yield method now i ca calculate the value of yield method second method that is yield method okay so to calculate the value of a share under this method the formula is value of a share equal to paid up value of a share or equity so equity value of a share into expected rate of return expected rate of return divided by normal rate of return normal rate of return okay then to calculate expected rate of return there is another one formula expected rate of return equal to profit available to equity shareholders profit available for equity shareholders divided by paid up equity share capital paid up equity share capital into 100 okay then first here we can calculate calculation of profit available to equity shareholders profit available for equity shareholders okay so in this uh, problem they have given the uh, profits past three three years profit okay so these profit is increasing and decreasing way okay it is not in a continuous increasing way and continuous decreasing way that is why i am using uh, simple average method to calculate average profit okay mm, i use here only to see here 
सिंपल एवरेज सिंपल एवरेज प्रॉफिट तो द फॉर्मूला इज टोटल प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ इयर्स ते द प्रॉफिट्स आर वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस वन लैक टेन थाउजेंड प्लस वन लैक थर्टी थाउजेंड ओके डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री इन हियर वी गेट थ्री लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री हियर वी गेट रुपीज वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एज सिंपल एवरेज प्रॉफिट ओके हियर वी यूज दिस प्रॉफिट फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट अवेलेबल फॉर इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर्स ओके सो पर्टिक्युलर्स रुपीज सो प्रॉफिट यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट सिंपल एवरेज प्रॉफिट so the amount is 120000 okay so they have not given information about the tax that is why we do not less the tax and the next item is bill as compulsory that is transfer to general reserve so they have given the percentage see here 20% is to be placed to general reserve okay 20% on 1 lakh 20000 ओके सपोज टैक्स को टैक्स लेस बंद प्रॉफिट मेले नहीं रिसर्व ट्रांसफर मोदी सो इले टैक्स इला दट इस ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट आन वन ऐक् ट्वेंटी थौस इन हियर वि गेट ट्वेंटी फोर थौस आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग दिस वि गेट नईटी सिक्स थौस दे प्रॉब्लम प्रिफरेन्स शेर क्यापिटल आगे अथवा प्रिफरेन्स डिविडेंड आगे को सपोज प्रिफरेन्स शेर क्यापिटल अलांग वि इट्स पर्संटेज को प्रिफरेन्स डिविडेंड लेती सो यह प्रॉब्लम को सो पुट द डैश वि गैट नईटी सिक्स थौस एंड दिसफिट अवेलेबल फॉर् ईक्विटी शेर होलडर्स ओके दट इस नईटी सिक्स थौस वि यूज दिस अमौंट for the calculation of value of a share okay first we fill up this formula so 96000 divided by paid up equity share capital so see in the problem that is 50000 equity shares of rupee 100 each fully paid we take this amount 5 lakh into 100 okay 96000 divided by 5 lakh into 100 Here we get the answer that is nineteen point two percentage. Okay, nineteen point two percentage. And by using this information, we calculate the main formula that is paid up value per share is fully paid ten into expected return is nineteen point two in normal return. They have given in the problem that is sixteen percentage. Okay, so I am writing here sixteen. Then here we get. Nine ten into nineteen point two divided by sixteen. Here we get rupees twelve per share. Okay, per equity share, or you can also write as yield value. Okay. Then third method is fair value method. So fair value method, I na e problem only ni me calculate maadi. So the formula is yield value. Sorry, net asset value plus yield value divided by two. सो ए मेथड बंद आंसर्स एवरेज तक फेर वैल्यू बरत सो क्वेश्चन कम गिविंग यू होंमवर्क सो फेर वैल्यूवन नहीं क्यालुलेटी इफ यू हव एनी डाउट्स पुट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स थैंक यू